The book of Jonah tells us that sometimes the Lord is not a very nice person. It begins in verse 1 with the Lord telling Jonah to go to Nineveh, the heart of enemy territory, and preach judgment and repentance. While Jonah understandably sails in the opposite direction, the Lord hurled a great wind on the sea, and there was a great storm on the sea, so that the ship was about to break up. And then, when the sailors pitched Jonah overboard, the Lord appointed a great fish, not a whale. This is a unique fish that the Lord created just for this occasion. The Lord appointed a great fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was in the stomach of the fish three days and three nights. Three days. Three days. After three days, the Lord commanded the fish, and it vomited Jonah up onto the dry land. Ugh, that was surely pleasant, wasn't it? And then the Lord insisted that Jonah go to Nineveh, as he had previously commanded. Well, Jonah reluctantly goes. He doesn't want to go through that experience again. And he preaches doom and gloom, perhaps with a smirk on his face and rubbing his hands together, waiting to see what will happen. But then ah, the people repent. And when God saw their deeds, that they turned from their wicked way, then God relented concerning the calamity which he had declared he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. Jonah pouts because there are no fireworks coming to destroy Nineveh. So the Lord appointed a plant, and it grew up over Jonah to be a shade over his head to deliver him from his discomfort. And Jonah was extremely happy about the plant. That's nice. But then, the next verse, but God appointed a worm when dawn came the next day, and it attacked the plant, and it withered. When the sun came up, God appointed a scorching east wind, and the sun beat down on Jonah's head so that he became faint and begged with all his soul to die, saying, Death is better to me than life. What was the point of all that cruelty and meanness from the Lord? The Lord said to Jonah, You had compassion on the plant for which you did not work and which you did not cause to grow, which came up overnight and perished overnight. Should I not have compassion on Nineveh, the great city in which there are more than 120,000 persons who do not know the difference between their right hand and their left hand? as well as many animals. What Jonah missed, and what we ought not to miss, is that God's apparent harshness is really his compassion for lost people who need to be saved. The Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. Lost. 